the 11th leg of the Longines FEI World Cup Jumping North American League. Well, one left to come forward. The crowd here are so supportive, not only to their own riders, but also to those from outside. So I'm sure they'll also be cheering for Sarah as she comes forward. Sarah Shearing and Dantes, last to go, representing the USA. And she'll have heard what's happened. She'll have heard there's a new time to be, and she knows the pressure is on. She's had this horse since it was just seven years old. She's placed really well in the standings at the moment. But could she come closer to that road to, to Paris? A win would punch her a ticket. It certainly would. She knows that. She'll be feeling the pressure. You want to get as many points as you can, but you know she's going to go for it. Oh, absolutely. This is our horse of a life sight so far. 40.66 time to beat the Sarah Sheeran, USA. A great time set, but we have to beat riders go faster. It is possible. Straightens up. Great ride. And now go. But slower through that distance. Yeah, conservative there. She needs to pick up the pace now. Powers round the corner. Two efforts now left. Go. We brought him back to America a couple of when he was a seven-year-old. He's ten now. He's uh, very, very well-bred. He's by a very famous stallion called Verdi. We jumped a huge course when we tried him. We decided about a year and a half ago that what we would try to do is go to the World Cup. He was scoping enough to get qualified for the uh, World Cup final. To be at her first Longin FEI World Cup final. Sarah Shearing for United States with the 10-year-old gelding Dantes. Qualifying to get here in the North American Eastern League. Sarah had three down with Dantes yesterday. Takes the option of the eight strides down to number three, of course, yesterday, working a little at the end of the course to keep this big horse collected in the distances. Horse that came originally from Jessica Mendoza. Really good riding up there. She really sit back and tried to keep the balance behind. And you can just see her there trying to work a little bit with Dantes around the corner. She's not worrying about the time. She's just thinking about keeping a little bit of rideability, the two of them together. Goes for the six here, but gets her quite deep. This horse got a lot of scope. We did a tour of the West Coast. One of our, the most endearing experiences was when we got to Mexico. That was kind of a rough trip to get down there, and it was a long way for him. Actually, it took a long time. And when he got off of the slant load truck, which he wasn't used to being in, he like heard Sarah's voice, and from about halfway across the property, when he heard Sarah's voice, he started whinnying like we had never heard before. Like he made a big deal. He knew it was her, and he got really excited. It was really something. It gave me uh, goosebumps, really. He has been unbelievable for my riding career. As far as a first horse to compete at such a high level, there couldn't be a better one. You know he's always going to go. He's always going to try his hardest to work it out. He's dragging you a little, so so brave. Uh, I just am so grateful to have had the opportunity to ride a horse like him. I've never had one like him before. looks a little bit more difficult to ride than he really is. You really just have to sit up against him and then just navigate the course. Nine-year-old gelding. Dantes. 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 Yeah.
And this one's a trier. Remember we watched this one go the other yeah, night? We could not. It yeah. came in the ring. We're like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look did like a good little, job. Yeah, yeah look like a little kitty's jumper and exploded yeah. over yeah. the jumps. No, no, she's a rider. And, yeah, she's a rider. And, and, you know, and he gets a little unrideable. Boy, she works it out. She's a very good rider. She was in the jump off the other night, wasn't yeah, she, in one of yeah. our big classes? Yeah. For sure, on, uh, on Tuesday night, yeah. Gave it a good effort, big stretch there. You know, he's a funny little horse. He comes right up out of the bridle to the last moment, then she just lets him go. That's right. Yeah. And drops his head down, knows right where he is. He's balancing him up. Yeah. Coming forward out of the turn, good ride. Oof. Steps right up there in the three. Backs up so well for the four. right back there, balances right up, yeah. uh, strong, strong balance on her upper body. It's like a little elastic band, isn't he? Well, she has to lean right back. And, wow, this horse is a trier. Isn't he a trier? Even when you think he's not going to get across that oxer, he gives that little extra. Yeah. Across feisty. cannery. Feisty enough. Good ride. Oh, don't fall off. <laughs> Look at him try. Yeah. Like a good one. Pull, put it together now. Oh, this is the hard jump. Let's do it. Let's do it. Rub All right. right. Our first clear. That was fantastic. That's first what I mean. Clear. He comes in the ring and he's that little unreliable, gnarly little bay horse. You think, no chance. Uh, and he jumps around clear. That was exciting. Nice. We got one. Yeah. It just gives you the best feeling. You know you can start to finish, uh, and it's, it's amazing that way. He's so scopy. He's going to get over it. He's going to work it out. I've really been blessed with the opportunity to have this horse to ride it. I was blessed to have people believe in me enough to buy him for me to ride, and then, unfortunately, to sell. And now is the moment, he's 10 years old, he has proven himself over and over again what a nice horse he is. And I am sad to have to part with him. There isn't a course that's too big for him. Uh, he can easily, he easily jumps the meter 60, uh, meter 65. Uh, we, we schooled him one time over a course of meter 70. I mean, and uh, he just, there's no, it never looks hard for him. It never gets too hard for him physically.